Hi, all you jigsaw puzzle fanatics out there. It's Shannon, and welcome to the Persnickety Puzzler. So today I thought I would talk about my June puzzle haul. And I ain't gonna lie, it was a massive puzzle haul, one of the biggest I've ever had. And it's gonna take me several minutes to talk about all the puzzles. The way I wanna do this is I wanna first talk about the puzzles that I purchased on Amazon, but you can also purchase on the individual brand's website. Then I wanna talk about the boutique brands, the puzzles that I purchased from boutique brands. And lastly, I would like to discuss a website that I go to to purchase boutique puzzles from. They have a fantastic selection and I wanna let everybody know about them. All right, so if you see something that you like or something that you don't like, let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. So the first puzzle that I have to show you is a 500 piece puzzle by a brand called Potter Puzzles. The artist's name is Rachel Ignatowski and the name of the puzzle is called Women in Art. I just loved her style of artwork and the colors. So got that one. Next we have another puzzle from Potter. This is a thousand pieces. It's called Heidi and the artist's name is Camilla Derrico. I thought the image was gorgeous and that the uh, colors were equally beautiful. All right, next we have uh, a puzzle by the brand Fred. Okay, this is called Queen Bee. It's a thousand pieces. You can get it on Amazon or on their website, which is Genuine Fred. And um, the artist's name is Fiona Hewitt. So there's that one. I love the colors. It had pink in it and I love pink. Uh, again, another one by Fred. This is 500 pieces. It's called Mushroom to Muchery. The artist's name is Helen Dardick. And I just loved this image and those pink mushrooms were calling my name. I had to get it. Next, we have a puzzle by the brand called B Creative. That's the letter B followed by the word creative. This is a thousand piece puzzle. It's called Colorful Ladies. I love the artwork. And of course, I love the colors. It's a brand I haven't tried before either. Another one from B Creative. This is called Large Colorful Peacock. Look at that image and look at that color. Look at the colors there, gorgeous. Next, we have an artist. Her name is Elena Essex. She sells, ooh, terrible glare, sorry about that. She sells her puzzles on her own website and on Amazon. This one is called Bird Paradise. It's a round puzzle, uh, a thousand pieces, and I love the colors and the image. Another one, oops, sorry. Another one by Elena Essex. This one is called Woodland Magic. I apologize for some of the reflections that are coming off of the cellophane here. I do apologize for that, but well, you know, what can you do? Anyway, this is a thousand pieces and I loved the mushrooms and how they, you know, the colors, once again, the colors. Okay. Next, we have a brand that I'm not sure a lot of you have heard of. Uh, it's called Modern Puzzles and they are sold Oops, they are sold on their own website, modernpuzzles.com. And this one is a thousand pieces. It's called Billy's Burgers. And what I like about modern puzzles is that a lot of them are in a retro kind of style, like from the 50s and 60s. And I just adored this image. Wonderful. Another one from Modern Puzzles. This is called Desert Sunset. Um, again, it's very retro. If you look at the back, you can see the complete image. Mid-century modern, modern architecture. Just a wonderful puzzle image. 
and another one from Modern Puzzles. This one is called Hello Modsville. It's a thousand pieces. And just look at that artwork. It's wonderful. I just, I just loved it. Okay. Now, now we're moving into the pomegranate puzzles. Okay. I love pomegranate, the brand, and it has been some time since I have purchased any puzzles from pomegranate. So I went to their website and I was checking them out. And unfortunately for me, they have some great puzzles and I got some. So here we go. First one I'm going to show you is called Mandala Fruit Tree. It's a 500 piece puzzle by the artist. The artist's name is Paul Hewsonstam. And I thought it was beautiful. Next, we have a puzzle that is called Crossing the Rio Grande, 500 pieces. Artist's name is Billy Hassel. Look at the bird. That is one gorgeous bird. And I just adored the colors. Another one by Pomegranate. This is a 500 piece puzzle. It's called Sea Anemones by a well-known artist. His name is Ernst Haeckel. I've loved everything this guy has ever drawn. He is incredibly talented. I had to get this. Okay, now we're moving into the 1000 piece pomegranates. All right, here we go. This puzzle is called Outside Vienna. The artist's name is Darlene Kulig. And I thought it was an interesting, colorful, fun image. So I wanted to give it a try. Okay, next we have a puzzle called Her Coat of Many Colors. The artist's name is Tamara Madden. And look at that puzzle image. That is one gorgeous puzzle image. It's frameable. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay, next we have one by Billy Hassel, the artist Billy Hassel again. This one's called Cap Rock Country. I just was immediately attracted to the color scheme of this and the bird. So I got it. Then we have a puzzle called Dragon of the Yangtze. This is by the artist Heidi Tilefer. And I think this artist is incredibly gifted. This image is stunning. As soon as I saw it, it was in my cart. Can't wait to do it. And next we have a puzzle that's a thousand pieces. It's called The Tamer. Uh, the artist's name is Olga Suvarova. And I thought she was amazing, just incredible. The, uh, they are, the, the site has several of her puzzles on it. And I really struggled to, to decide which one I wanted. Um, I'll probably go back and get the rest. But man, she is super talented. Last pomegranate that I got is called Let the Outside In. It's a thousand pieces. The artist's name is Greg Crayola Simpkins. I was immediately drawn to the artwork. It is kind of dark, but I, I, I just was compelled to get this. I thought it was beautiful. Okay. All right. Now we're moving into the boutique puzzles. Okay. First one to show you is one called Welcome Back. The puzzle brand name is Grateful House. So this is one of their puzzles. It's a thousand pieces called Welcome Back. And unfortunately, they do not put the complete image on the front of the box, which is a pet peeve of mine. But if you turn the box over and you can see the complete image, which is stunning, you can zoom in there and see it. And man, I thought this was gorgeous. Okay. 
I followed that with another one from Grateful House. This one is called Polar Express. And it's, I mean, it's just amazing. So if you turn it over again and you zoom in on that, look at that image. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to move into a brand that you've probably heard of. This is called Art and Fable. This one is 500 pieces. It's called Tale of Two. And I was just really drawn to the image, the colors, everything. I followed that up with a 750 piece puzzle. This is called Daughters of the Sea. The artist's name is Anton Lomeyev. But look at that artwork. It's amazing. So there you go. All right, next we have a brand based out of Copenhagen. This is called, um, the brand name is Vis Vas. Uh, just look in the description below uh, and you will find the name. Um, anyway, this particular puzzle is called A Fine Day. I thought the image was gorgeous, serene, beautiful colors. So I had to get that. Another one by Vis Vas. This is called Plant Lover. And I am actually a plant nut, just like I'm a jigsaw nut. And I saw this and said, oh, I've got to get that. So I got that. Now I'm moving into some more. There's more. All right. This is a puzzle by the brand Surf Shack. They are based in Hawaii. This particular puzzle is called Beachin. Um, Surf Shack makes fantastic puzzle boxes and they're nice and compact, super sturdy. This is, um, I just love this image because it's got lots of pink and it's fun. Okay, another one by Surf Shack. This one is called Sunbathers. Again, I really love the image and I wanted to give this brand a try. Okay, next we have a brand called Puzzle Love. They also have spectacular boxes. This is a 1000 piece puzzle, it's called Fluorescence. Okay. Another one by Puzzle Love. This is called Tessellate. I was just really drawn to this image. And again, boxes are fabulous. All right. Moving on. The next brand I'd like to present is, this is the Blue Kazoo brand. And some of you may be familiar with them. I am late to the party. This particular puzzle is 1,000 pieces. It's called I Love Tetris, and I just adore the colors. The next puzzle by Blue Kazoo that I picked up is 1,000 pieces. It's called Trippy Picnic. Um, unfortunately, the full image is not on the front of the box, but if you turn it around and you zoom in there, you will see the image. It's got cats. I'm a cat lover. We have two cats. I loved it, so I had to get it. Moving along, we have another brand you may have heard of. This is the Soonness brand. Uh, this puzzle is 1,000 pieces. I, it's a, a relatively new release from Soonness. The artist's name is Haley Patterson. I thought this image was so much fun and look at those colors. Another one from Soonness. This is actually an older one that I got on Amazon. Uh, it's called Marine Life and I just thought the image was super fun and colorful. Okay, now I want to talk to you about a website called Puzzledly that I buy from frequently because they carry a great selection of boutique brands. They also produce their own puzzles. They have their own line of puzzles. 
but their boutique brands are fantastic. So these next few puzzles I purchased on the Puzzledly website. Okay, first we have a puzzle that is called Paris. It's a thousand pieces. The brand, however, is the Oh My brand. That's O-M-Y, right there, Oop. right there. Anyway, this is, um, I just loved the artwork, the fun artwork, the colors. The boxes are spectacular, super sturdy and nice and compact. Another one from the Oh My brand. This is called Street Art. I love puzzles with lots of objects and, and wild and fun colors. And boy, this does looks like it's going to be tons of fun. Another one that I got on Puzzledly. This is the Puzz Puzzle brand. This particular puzzle is called Taco Tuesday. And I thought, boy, does that puzzle scream summer. Pitcher of margaritas, bunch of tacos, chips and salsa, perfect. Okay. Next we have a brand called Sunshine Puzzles. I purchased this on Puzzledly. This is a thousand pieces. It's called Manhattan. There's the drink, the Manhattan drink. And the design of these boxes is just inspired. Gorgeous, very simple, but refined and beautiful. Makes me want to go downstairs, and make myself one of these Manhattans. Can't wait to do it. All right, then last puzzle that I got on Puzzledly. This is a puzzle called Chilling in the Park. The, the, the brand name is Treble. And I just really like the image and the colors, the scene. It looks like fun, so I got it. Now, lastly, I want to talk about this last brand, which is the Journey of Something Puzzle brand. They are based in Australia. And I have wanted to purchase puzzles from them for some time. But shipping from Australia, Australia to the United States is exorbitant. However, Journey of Something had a recent like mega sale. Everything was like 50% off. So I purchased from them and it was the, <laughs> If they hadn't had the 50% off, there was no way I was going to justify the $50 shipping fee that it costs to get these puzzles to my door. But anyway, let me show them to you. The first one I'm gonna show you, this is called Snorkel. It's 1,000 pieces and it's really pretty, but unfortunately they've kind of um, you know, covered up some of the image. But if you go to their website and look this up, you will see what I'm talking about. It's a gorgeous puzzle with beautiful colors. Next, we have one called, this is called Mae Gibbs, which is actually the artist's name. She's apparently a children's book writer and artist. And if she uh, writes as well as she illustrates, then man, she must make some incredible books. But I loved this artwork and I, ha I'm sorry, I had to get this. Mm. Excuse me. And the very last puzzle, we're finally to the end. I told you it was a big haul. This is another puzzle, a journey of something puzzle. It's the May Gibbs round puzzle, same artist as the previous puzzle. I know it's not very colorful, but if you zoom in on that art, it's fantastic. It's gorgeous. Okay. So that's it. That's all of the puzzles. I did warn you, it was a massive haul. So if there was anything that you're excited about, or maybe you've already done that puzzle, or you know something about the brand, drop me a note in the comments below. If you are as obsessed with jigsaw puzzles as I am, please consider subscribing below. I would really, really appreciate it. See you next time.